Okay. Yeah. Are you hopeful? Well, I, I am, and I think that w we've seen the outrage come. I mean, w where I am on the eastern Long Island, which is uh, I represent a state senate district uh, in the first congressional district where I'm running, um, you know, veterans are, are speaking up, and it's not only it's not only the veteran who served, but family and friends, oh, other yeah, ones sure. impacted. Anybody who's been protected yeah. by folks like you. So and, good luck. You want to have a last uh -huh. word? Oh, no, well, what I, what I was just going to throw in is I have some troops. I mean, we, we've all served very recently. We all know folks who are still in. I, I've got friends who are serving in Horn of Africa right now, multiple deployments to Iraq and Afghanistan. W what's going to happen when they reach that decision point to stay in or get out? Right. Who's going to be left over to lead our military mm -hmm. down the road? Because and that's really the major concern with yeah, our volunteer force. Yeah, you don't want them to force. think, yeah, maybe it's time to get out. I can't afford this. All right, thank you guys very much. Thank you. Merry thank Christmas. You. By Merry thank Christmas. you. Merry Christmas. Okay. Hey, coming up, Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker. Uh, sticking it to the PC police, what he just did to make it more.